Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Red Beard Grind. I'm Red Beard, a full time eBay reseller. And this is going to be my five and five video where I just blast through my top five sales for yesterday for you guys. I just want to see quickly what went for the most money so you can see those brands. So let's jump into it. Oh, by the way, I did 17 total in sales yesterday, 538. So totally average there. Let me sort this high to low. So we got the five, the top five, most of them are in the 40s, ones in ones at 36. So Ariat, you know, you probably already know. This is a great brand to pick up. This was um, women's. This is a women's area. I don't always pick up the women's stuff for area because it doesn't always do as well. But um, this one, the area denim trouser did really well. I listed it January 25th, so it's been hanging around for a little while. It was listed at 22 originally, went for 10% off. I got $38 for it plus shipping. So it's it's a great brand, pretty much across the board. Um, there's not much area you would pick up and lose money on, I don't think. But not all of it's as profitable. The 46 was shipping. Buttercloth. If you don't know about this brand, make sure you pay attention to this logo and learn it. Um, Buttercloth. If you see that, it's worth looking into. Uh, this one sells typically pretty fast. This one didn't sell as fast as uh, I thought it would have, but uh, I got uh, I took an offer of 30 something for it. But this is a great brand. I don't find it that often. I've only found it in the last two and a half years, maybe maybe three times. And every time I find it, something's wrong with it. This one had a little pinhole. One of them had a button missing. One of them had a stain. And, but it still sells. Um, but uh, you won't find it that often. But if you do have a chance, like memorize this, pick it up. You can sell it for good money. Um, I got $42 for that, even with that little pinhole in it. Um, I want to find one that's in mint condition one day. Sell it. All right, cool. This is a great bread and butter. I find cool every week. It's not a daily find for me, um, but this is a great brand. These even had, a, I'll show you, I think it had a hole in the garage. It wasn't really a hole. It was more like it's the, the jeans are distressed and they just are distressed right there. I don't know if that was natural or if that was um, just done from use, but uh, this is your brand. This is your logo inside the waistband there, the UHL. They usually have their logo on the outside too, right there on the waistband. On the shirts, that, that logo will be on the sleeve or on the back of the collar. Um, this is a great brand. They make really, really good quality stuff and it sells fast. Um, and on the jeans and the, sometimes the shorts, but all their pants have this information on the inside pocket. So make sure you use this information in your three keywords. Your listing, I listed this February 26, sold it for full asking at 39 bucks. It's out of here. True religion can be okay. Usually doesn't sell for um, up in the 40, but well, that's not shipping. I, I got 41 bucks for it, but um, there are still styles of true religion that you can sell for 40, 50, 60 bucks. You just got to find them. Most of it's um, going to be cheaper and go for in the 20s, uh, but it's still not bad. It still moves. Um, Let's see, I'll show you the tags. If you're not familiar with your religion. So this, this Buddha guy is on, on the outside of most of their jeans. There's some inside tag. That's their logo right there. Little horseshoe. Um, and they often have it on their pockets too. Their pockets are often flat pockets um, and have their logo on it. So what you want to do is like when you're, when you're, uh, I'm crazy. When you are copying these, you want to put true religion Joey jeans, and then whatever details you can find to drill down to see if this this particular pair is um is moving. This twisted seam here, it, um, and the flare legs, I think, is what um, helps sell this. So, and I got that. I didn't know it was called twisted seam. I got that from someone else, but uh, still, still does good. There's proof right there. And that wasn't listed for very long. Let me see how long. When did I list it? February 14th. So not too long. Fast mover. And of course, Lululemon, if you watch my videos, um, Lululemon flies off the shelves. It was this January 26th, so that one sat for a little while. This was some sweatpants. This is actually the second time I've sold these. Um, the first time, the person was not happy with the uh, how they felt, so they sent them back. Uh, so let's, we'll see if they, they stick this time. I got 33 bucks for them. Um, there's their logo right there. There was no inside tag on this because it fell off. But just some, uh, usually I don't find the joggers. This is the only joggers 
I don't even know if these are really joggers. I put sweatpants, sweatpants on there. Um, but usually I find the commission pants or the ABC pants for the men's. Um, the top five, if those are all great brands, if you can find these, um, just comp them. But the ones that move all the time, like that you don't have to comp as much, or you can be kind of safe that it's going to move really fast. It's Lululemon, Cool, Buttercloth, Area. Uh, for sure, True Religion, make sure you comp it um, before you buy it. But yeah, those are great brands to find. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow.